of their purpose and, and uh, know who they are and stop being so insecure and so jealous and so uh, you're, you're not helping your situation any. You're only pushing the man away. But uh, that's another story. I, I was talking to the men because we had a class of men, and I was telling them that you need to make sure that she's not insecure. You need to make sure that she has security, that she feels safe, that she understands that you are uh, the only one for her her and that you care about her and her situation you are in, uh, encouraged by her being uh, part of your life and your ministry she's your queen that kind of thing so that it would be uh, a safe home a place where uh, you have walked so m circumspectly that it would be impossible uh, for anyone to try to even paint a picture of your infidelity because you have made it very clear where your allegiance lies. And so we, we talked about a couple of different things and various other uh, ministers talked about a, uh, some good stuff. And uh, the people's apostle, he brought the final word. Uh, but we had uh, Pastor Jean Philippe, he uh, from the, the Haitian overseer, and he also uh, gave a great word and he delivered it uh, with the help of God in English because he, he usually does it in uh, Creole with an interpreter but it was a beautiful time and we had a great great time in the Lord and we would encourage anybody to become a part of Harvest Reapers International School of Ministry we're going to be opening up our Fort Lauderdale uh, session again in the new year so uh, that's the second week in January is when we'll be starting that but you need to call and register 754-422-4200 that's 754-422-4200 to get started to be registered for the class for the course it is a uh, great six week accelerated program uh, to get you ready for ministry and we do thank God for that. Other classes are currently going on in uh, the northern part of Florida. And so if you are interested in finding out more about that, again, the number to call 754-422-4200. And uh, we do thank God for you all who are a part and who are graduates and who are uh, walking in uh, the beauty of holiness and the beauty of ministry. And we want to try to keep in contact and keep everybody close knit. So if we haven't heard from you in a while and you haven't uh, spoken to us in a while, make sure you give a call and, and kind of find out what's going on and where you can uh, best serve. Uh, because we have some things that we're going to be doing and things that are going to be coming up and we want to include as many as we can. Now, I really have to go to a break. I'm a little over my time for my break but I just wanted to share with you what was going on this weekend with me I hope you all enjoyed your weekend there was also a fabulous concert I hope many of you were able to go it, it was a, almost like a midnight musical but it didn't start at midnight but we do thank God for you all Everyone who had an opportunity to share in what's going on. And if you're looking for a place to worship, I, I know there's many of them out there and many of them where you can go. But, of course, I, I would recommend the one where I attend, which is the Fort Lauderdale Church of God in Christ, 744 Northwest 12th Avenue in the city of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, we do thank God for Fort Lauderdale Multicultural Center. And we are working at becoming... Uh, what God has designed for us to be. So we would encourage you to join us whenever you can. Pastor Roger Grimes is the senior pastor there. The associate pastor is uh, Pastor Bishop Lewis Smith. The Mother's Board president is none other than Mother Yvonne Driver Brown. So right now we're going to take that break. Come back from the break. We're going to go into our series. And really, we're not really in our series yet. We're still kind of setting up the groundwork because we want to let you know we're entering into a new quarter. And for the next three months, there's some things we're going to be talking about, addressing, dealing with. Uh, we're going to be dealing with Ephesians in the month of December, uh, Philippians in January, and Colossians in uh, February. So we want to kind of get you prepared so that you can kind of study along, kind of be uh, set up and ready to go so that you, uh, you know, fired up, ready to go, fired up, ready to go. And we want to make sure that um, you have a way to kind of get hooked in. So we're working on uh, developing some things and we're working on developing how we can better interact and work with each and every one of you because it is our desire uh, to do kingdom work and body ministry. And so I want to connect with the parts of the body that are out there. I want to connect with people who are members of the kingdom that are out there. And so uh, we thank God for you. Again, the number to call 
to join in the conversation or just to listen into the broadcast, 877-217-5375. That's toll-free within the continental United States. That includes Florida, by the way. 877-217-5375. Thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast. I'm Nikki V, and it is our desire that you would have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. We'll be right back after this. Harvest Reapers International School of Ministry, here to equip, qualify, and certify members of the body of Christ for kingdom building in just six short weeks. You will receive your certification and ordination as a pastor, evangelist, prophet, teacher, apostle, or minister in the gospel. Call today. Classes are starting soon. 754-422-4200 and get on your way to ministry at the highest level. Harvest Reapers International School of Ministry here to equip, qualify, and certify members of the body of Christ for kingdom building. Call now and register today. 754-422-4200. Harvest Reapers International School of Ministry here to equip, qualify, and certify members of the body of Christ for kingdom building in just six short weeks. So call today and register. 754-422-4200. Let's face it. Losing a loved one is hard and the grief that is put on your family can be troublesome. We strive to make the hardest time for you and your family the easiest. We want your loved one to be sent off the best way possible with only your interest at heart. Let us allow the bereaved to breathe easy by calling Fuller Brothers Funeral Home, 954-366-3758. That's 954-366-3758. Life goes on, but live easy knowing that your loved one is in a better place with Fuller Brothers Funeral Home, 954 954- 366-3758. Let Fuller Brothers Family take care of your family. 1805 North Dixie Highway in the city of Pompano Beach, Florida. 954-366-3758. Gospel United to Save. It's the Guts Gospel Show. A variety talk show with a Christian view. With your host, Nikki B. Featuring open discussion, event spotlight, and special guests. Tune in weekdays, three times a day. Wake up for the morning show at 7 a.m. Tune in for the midday show at 3.30 p.m. And ride home with the evening show at 6 p.m. And Saturdays at 10 a.m. The Guts Gospel Show. The Guts Gospel Show. With your host, Nikki V. Gospel United to Save. Tune in. Call in. And log in. Let's talk about it, laugh about it, and pray about it with Nikki V. Right here on this station. Tune in online and listen to it on the internet. www.gutsay.webs.com It's the Guts Gospel Show. Gospel United to Save. A variety talk show with a Christian view. This commercial is sponsored by Rhythm and Gospel Network. We're replacing the blues with the good news. Sing Ernest Pugh. That's Christmas with Ernest Pugh and friends. Ring them bells. Born this very day. New life he
Oh, just shout, yeah, it's Christmas. It's time to go ahead and wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Give thanks for the holidays. Uh, that's holy days if you think about it. It's a Merry Christmas, and we thank God for that. Ringing them bells. And uh, today we want to just kind of give you a little word. Uh, blessed by God's forgiveness. Psalm 32, verses 1 through 7. Happy is he whose transgression is taken away, whose sin is covered. Happy is a person to whom Yahweh does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones were worn out due to the groaning all the day. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vigor was changed into the dry heat of summer. Selah. I made known my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not cover. I said, I will confess concerning my transgressions to Yahweh, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Selah. Therefore let all the faithful pray to you at the time for finding you. Surely at the flood of many waters they will not reach him. You are my hiding place. From trouble you preserve me. With cries of deliverance you surround me. Selah. And we do thank God for uh, the word of God and uh, the word for this day uh, as we continue in our service, series and to be able to help us because we're blessed in Christ and we're blessed in Christ because that's where our forgiveness is. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it is not for us to keep silent. We say, oh, it's blessed is. And that's David. He's saying that the, your sins are hidden or what he's trying to say is that God has taken them away. He has made them of none effect. And so uh, we're happy to be in a place where we can receive uh, the very uh, peace of Christ even in the midst of our transgression God comes in and cleans us up and gets us ready for the day of his return so we want to activate uh, some of the things that are going on and we want to make sure that we are doing the things that we ought to be doing and so it is imperative that we deal with our sin. He, he said, I, I was getting dried up when I kept silent about it. I was getting, I was getting exhausted. I was getting depressed. I was getting, I, I didn't get all the benefits I ought to be getting because I tried to hide my sin my own way. I didn't try to, I didn't give it to God so he could get it out of my life. I tried to hide it so no one would know about it. I tried to be pious. I tried to do things that made people think I was good when there's none good but God. I put myself in a position that caused me to be not so accessible and I really didn't want to be accountable and therefore no honor came my way. I couldn't find favor and I was trying to find the grace that would give me the unmerited favor and yet only thing that was available at the time was mercy because I was not willing to confess my fault and give God the glory to show that I have been repentant. I am I'm a repentant sinner, not someone that's unrepentant. I have given up the evil. I want to line up with the will and the way of God. And so oftentimes we won't take the charge. We won't take the responsibility. We refuse to live a life that will bring us to a place of being blessed in Christ. And so we want to get to that point. And at the uh, next break, we will talk a little bit more about being blessed in Christ. We're going to be in the book of Ephesians, one of the books that Paul wrote or the letters that Paul wrote during his time in Rome, when he was jailed in Rome, out that evangelizing, as we talked about last week. And so that's what we're going to be dealing with these books the next three months that were written during that time, Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians, because we're going to be dealing with uh, the church at Ephesus, the church at Philippi, and the church at Coloss. Thank you so much again for tuning into the broadcast. You are tuned into Guts, Gospel, United Save, bringing you the information needed for transformation within South Florida and all over the world, a variety talk show with a Christian point of view, hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus, and definitely that you won't let let sin go by unnoted, but that you will rebuke sin wherever it's found because we've let immorality take its priority. And so the standards of the world or the norms of the world have become the standard of the church. And that 
is.